Benito Juarez, former president of Mexico and official poster boy of both or 20 and 500 pesos bills. He was born in March 21, which coincidentally is the same day that the spring begins officially in Mexico. Not like nature gives a damn, of course, but the Mexican school system that taught six of their nerdiest kids to march around carrying the flag each Monday is surely going to respect this date as the official date in the traditional ephemerides, which is the academic version of the memories section in Facebook, but historical and recited monotonously by children during this ceremony. Why am I telling you all this? Well, because at certain viral point of the internet, one of those kids got creative with their ephemerides visual aid material and brought us this majestic creature. And since I'm a big fan of yellow animals with creative anatomy, I decided I wanted a keychain of this guy. And I'm going to show you how I did it with materials I had laying around at home. For this project, we are going to need baby oil, scholar glue, hand soap, cornstarch, acrylic paint, sharpies, a recycled plastic cupcake container with a number 6 at the bottom, and a bunch of other stuff. For the homemade clay we will mix scholar glue and cornstarch in equal parts, then add a dash of soap, a dash of baby oil, mix everything together very well, Cover the mix with plastic and put it in the fridge for a while. In the meantime, we will work on the wings and cut a piece on where we can draw upon with our sharpies and proceed to draw our wings. This material is going to shrink, so it is important to draw them three times bigger than we need them. When we are done, we put them inside the oven and watch the magic happen. Once we have our wings ready, we retrieve our clay from the fridge and start shaping it. Once we are done, we leave it to solidify completely. I personally left it overnight, but you can check if yours gets solid sooner. Once it is solid, we proceed to paint a base color coat with acrylic paint, then I use a sharpie for the black parts, some regular color pencils for the face details, and at last I gave the whole feature a phenyl protective coat which I made mixing water and scholar glue. The shrinkage of the plastic is not always guaranteed to be even. Sometimes it will shrink wider or thicker depending where you place the pieces in the oven or where you decide to draw in the plastic, so it is recommended to make not only one set of wings, but several sets, and then choose among those the ones that look more even. If your clay is liquid and sticky after you retrieve it from the fridge, put cornstarch in your palms and add some more of it to the mix, little by little until it does feel like a paste you can mold. The clay behaves more like dough than clay. While it is drying, you will find out the outer layers dry first and the inner part remains squishy so trying to sculpt it feels like trying to shape a balloon filled with sand. Not the friendliest material for that, so if you want to create actual defined proper shapes, I'll recommend you to make a mold instead and just press the cold clay against it, instead of trying to sculpt the clay. Same way, I found it easier to make the different shapes apart and then glue them together than trying to sculpt a single piece with all the fine shapes at once. And that's it! Hope you find this useful and entertaining for a creative afternoon and join our club of creatures with interesting anatomy. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day!